Hi, I'm Sandra Moss, and I'm running for re-election to the Compton Unified School District. March 3rd, 2020 will be the election. So come out and vote for Sandra Moss. Why am I running? I ran in 2015 for the first time because as a professional deputy probation officer, I saw how our children were entering into the juvenile justice system, that pipeline to prison is a real thing. And one of the things I realized was the judicial system uses the third grade as a measuring stick to let them know what type, how many prisons they need to build. So when I worked with the juveniles in juvenile hall, I realized that at 15 and 16 years old, those young men could not read or they could barely read. And so I figured I needed to do something about that. Not just working in that criminal justice system, but I can run for the Compton Unified School Board and I can make a difference by because we write policies to ensure that kids have the quality education that they need. So that's why I'm running for re-election. Hi, I'm Anthony Perry, running for Compton School Board right here in Area C. I'm a parent, two children in the Compton Unified School District, and I work as a substitute teacher in the school district. I know what the schools need. I know what parents need. I know what teachers need. Out of 33 schools, I worked at 26 of them. I've taught every grade from K through 12, including pre-K. I understand parent needs, I understand teacher needs, and I also understand our community needs, and I'm here to bridge the gap to unite the school and the community. Thank you. Hello, Compton family. This is Greg Pitts, candidate for Compton School Board in Area D. As a high school teacher for the last 20 years, I believe that I bring a wealth of knowledge and understanding of how schools should work. I understand what administrators, what teachers, and what students need, also in classified staff, I understand what they need in order to be successful. I believe that we need to bring back some certification programs back to Compton Unified in the areas of, say, plumbing, automotive, carpentry, electrician, et cetera. Those are the types of jobs and professions that our students need to have access to. Only about 34% of people will actually graduate from a four-year college with a four-year degree. And that leaves almost 70% of our students and people in the nation who absolutely, um, you know, may not get a high school, I mean, who actually may not get a college degree. And so we need to make sure that they have opportunities to get high paying jobs directly out of high school. And that's why I'm running to Compton Unified to make sure that students are highly college and career ready. My three platform issues are school safety, parent engagement, and increasing the graduation rates. Now, how they, how they all work together. Statistically, kids don't go to school because they don't feel safe. And if kids don't feel safe, they won't go. So if they don't go, they don't graduate. So we know that in the third grade is when they decide when they want to build prisons. So this is a collaborative effort. We all have to work together. Kids deserve to go to school and not be bullied, not to be harassed. They need to be comfortable and safe. Teachers need to be in an environment where they come to school and don't feel at any danger so that they can teach our children freely and they can give our children what they need. Our children have a plethora of needs, and if, if you're not feeling safe, you're not going to want to come to school. So I'm, it all starts with the simple thing of the foundation of having school IDs. We need to know who's on the campuses. We need to make sure that predators don't get on our campus. We need to make sure that I, outsiders don't get on our campus. That sounds like that's something that doesn't mean much, but that's the first step in ensuring that our kids are safe, that everybody that's on that campus belongs in that campus. So that's one thing that I'm gonna guarantee you, we're gonna make sure that every child that enters the Compton Unified School, school, school Grounds has an identification card. Did you also know it was against the law not to have identification? It is a infraction for you not to have one. That means you get a ticket and you have to pay it if you don't have ID. If you, for instance, if your child is walking down the street and they ask for a school for identification and they don't have it, they can be ticketed. So that's another reason why all, our, all of our children need to be able to have ID so that they can uh, be safe on campuses. <clears throat> so on March 3rd, I'm running for area F as in Frank, and that is uh, west of, east of uh, Compton Boulevard, all the way down east to Alameda where the uh, IHOP is in the um, Carlson Jr. And you go all the way down there to Greenleaf and then you go back up. That is my area. So I have Dominguez, I have Clinton Elementary, Kelly Elementary, Emerson Elementary, and Roosevelt. So if your, your student goes to one of those schools, you can come directly to me and I'm going to have committees. Because parents, your, you, your voice does matter. 
you know your child better than we do. So if we work collaboratively together with the teachers in the schools, we can make sure our kids are safe and thriving and graduate. There's a big disconnect between our teachers and our administration. Now, I'm here to restore relationships with our teachers and our teachers union. It's important that we listen to our teachers because our teachers is on the ground level. They're dealing directly with the students and they're dealing directly with the children. They're dealing directly with the parents. So it's important that we listen to our teachers and empower our teachers. I'm here to repair our relations. I will implement an oversight committee. An oversight committee is gonna be a collection of parents, teachers, and administration and community members to address concerns so we can collectively bring ideals, concerns, and issues together. No more this and that, and we're going separate ways. We need to bring things together so we can work on it and understand that we can agree that we may disagree. That's going to bring into me uniting, and this is very important. We must unite our school system with our city and community to bring everyone together. Because if we take care of our kids, our kids is gonna be the next elected officials. They're gonna be the new homeowners. They're gonna be the new community leaders. So it's important that we unite the community, support our kids, so it'll work for the better of Compton for now and in the future. Washington Elementary, McNair Elementary, Jefferson Elementary, which is my home school, and Rosecrans Elementary are the schools of my district. And I'm here to repair, restore, and unite all of our schools, especially the schools that's in my district. So please, Area C in Compton, Anthony Perry, March 3rd, beginning February 22nd for early voting, but up until March 3rd, vote Anthony Perry right here in Area C. Thank you. There are three pieces to my platform. In addition to college and career readiness, we definitely need to make sure that we are increasing uh, parent involvement and we are strengthening our special education departments and programs. In order to support greater parent involvement, we need to make sure that we are restructuring the way that school board meetings operate. We need to make sure that we make those school board meetings more welcoming and definitely much more involved from the parent perspective. We have to make that time for parents very meaningful and we have to make sure that that time is valuable for our parents. Parents have families to take care of. Oftentimes, some parents are working multiple jobs. And so if we expect them to be involved, we have to make sure that we are setting the times and the agenda of the school board meetings that is conducive to parents' schedules. Parents have to make sure that their students are fed, that their homework is done, that they are ready and prepared in order to tackle the, uh, the next day at school. So we have to make sure that that, that, that time at the school board meeting is valuable and meaningful for parents and that they feel welcomed. And with regard to special education, we have to make sure that we are empowering parents, that we are also educating parents and giving them a special education roadmap. There should be no secrets about how special education works. There should be no secrets about how students are qualified and exited from special education. I have been a special education teacher for the last 18 years and also a biology teacher. So I understand the general ed side of it and I also understand the special education side of it. Part of my job is writing IEPs and that is an, an IEP is an individualized education program. We have to make sure that we are writing legally defensible IEPs and that things that are in that IEPs are, are appropriate for those particular students. My name is Greg Pitts, candidate for Compton School Board, Area D. Schools that are within my district are Laurel Street, Davis, Dickerson, Roosevelt, and Compton High. So what I've realized as being a board member and being a leader, one thing you have to have is camaraderie. You have to have like-mindedness. We may agree to disagree, but we, we don't have to be disagreeable. We understand that the goal is our children of Compton, yes. right? And to make sure that our children of Compton are qualified and educated and that they have a quality education, right? Yes. So that means we need to be unified. Greg, you're gonna be excellent when it comes to special education. You've been doing that for 18 years. You're gonna know what programs are working. You yes. know how to interact with teachers. You know how we have a lot of issues that need to be addressed. 
So I think you're going to be superb in that department. And Anthony, I think you're going to be superb when it comes to engaging the parents and letting the parents know, empowering parents and letting them know that your voice does matter. You are on the front line with your children. You have to advocate for your children and they have to be empowered to be able to do that. So us working together, me making sure that we're that safe and we all make it, working together to make sure the Compton Unified is a district where our kids not only thrive, they, they kick butt. Our kids are going to graduate on the top of the class. We have uh, early college. All our schools will be the goal to have early colleges. All our kids will be yes. certified. The plan is that we have is for kids to be certified when they graduate from cop, from That's high right. school. That's right. And they'll have certifications. Our mechanics make a lot of money. Plumbers make a lot of money. Tremendous These money. are jobs that they're just never going away. And so with like-minded board members, board members who can get along and work together for our children and not lose sight of why we're here, this is going to be an awesome board. In 2020, March 3rd in District D, Pitts in District F, Moss in District C, Perry. I'm telling you guys, you guys got a dynamic board that's coming aboard. Stay tuned to see, watch our that's kids right. thrive. Right.